Welcome to Tesla Info and part three of our battery degradation series and this time we're going to look at the differences uh, between factories and the batteries that they use. We've had a few questions about where we get our data from. Well the actual battery figures we've offered an online tool for a few years now where you can put in your token, we'll then contact your car, pull a whole load of information back, calculate your battery capacity, prevent present all this back to you including a chart of where your car sits against similar cars. Um, we keep an anonymized cache of that uh, result which we then put into the fleet uh, database enabling us to compare to other cars. We also take the, um, the first part of the VIN and that tells us things like where the factory is and various other attributes about the car and we've also from our inventory listings have lots and lots of build information about cars from across the Tesla range for years. So we're mashing all this data together as best we can to give you the results uh, and just to stress no personal information is kept. Okay the first cars we're going to take a look at are the standard range becoming real wheel drive from 2021 and we're comparing Fremont and China who were the only two uh, countries which were making these cars at the time. We're not going to look at Model S or Model X at all because essentially they're all Fremont. What we can see here is there are three batteries. Uh, China switching between the smaller than the larger LFP battery and the US using the older NCA cells which seem to have a slightly lower capacity than the LFP ones. If we filter the data down further to just look at Model Y for 2021, we see that China actually have bigger batteries than Fremont. And so it's quite important when you're comparing uh, articles online and stuff to understand where the car comes from for a given year because the results can be very different. Next, we're going to have a look at 2022. And here we've got an extra batch of cars from Austin. Now, the reason why these are hot here is the API is reporting them as being uh, standard range or just real-wheel drive and yet actually they have more in common with long-range batteries um, so that's why they they've shown up they also use a different battery type to the LFP batteries which both Fremont and China are using at this time and as you can see from the results are very very similar now these results include Model 3 and Model Y and they're not always available in all countries and so if we just focus down on the Model Y results, we can see the only standard range or real-world drive cars in the US, Austin built with a bigger battery. If we take a look at 2023, we actually see all four factories are making a variation on the car. Austin is using that bigger battery that we've seen before, so that's sort of a bit of an outlier. Berlin is using a structural battery pack which seems to be performing less than the others. Um, or certainly has a lower capacity than the others but if we compare Fremont and China we think they're both using the fairly well established LFP battery and actually you know the, de the uh, degradation of the battery is very very similar for some reason Freeman has a slightly tighter clustering but nothing really much in it. Okay we're now going to look at the long range batteries and if we start with 2020 really there is only Fremont so we can see the degradation curve for those batteries um, losing about 10% of its battery after about 50 60,000 miles on average. If we step forward to 2021 we see both Fremont and China are making the long range cars using the same battery and really the results are, are almost identical. If we move forward to 2022, we can see all four factories are making variations of the long range, either for the Model 3 or Model Y. And we're just running through a series of comparisons between the different factories, but in reality, we're comparing the BT42 and the BT43 batteries because China and Berlin use the BT43, Austin and Fremont are using the BT42. As a result, when you're comparing the same battery, you get very similar results. But when it does become noticeable is when you compare the two batteries and it's easiest to see between the Fremont and the China made cars. So we're going to bring up the Fremont versus China built cars using the LG battery and the Panasonic battery. We're not saying the batteries are made in those factories. And although the Fremont battery starts from a slightly higher initial capacity, you actually see it seems to fall below the China capacity you know, based on mileage 
you know almost fairly quickly by 20,000 miles and actually plateaus out long term at a slightly lower level so actually the the BT43 battery seems to be the the slightly better battery over over the long term if we switch to 2023 and look at all long range cars um, so both Model 3 and Model Y we're using the same batteries and we're actually getting very similar results so again Austin and Fremont almost exactly the same degradation curves Berlin and China almost exactly as well compared to each other but when we compare the US built cars to the China stroke German built cars we do see the same sort of pattern again where the the US cars seem to fall initially below or just slightly there's not much in it but it is a noticeable trend as far as we can see to the eye at least we're also just going to filter out the Model 3s just to see if it's anything you know nuanced in terms of the Model 3 to the Model Y it would be unlikely um, and actually no there, there is no real difference the the same pattern is being seen so it definitely seems to be a battery feature um, rather than a you know a use case in terms of the car that the battery is used in practically speaking you don't have a choice of where your car is made um, we know some people wanted the BT42 battery in Europe um, and certainly for the performance cars because they thought it was slightly bigger but these results suggest actually you you're not actually gaining anything by going for the bt42 over a bt43 car in fact we'll take a look at the performance cars so this is the all the performance cars um berlin did make some models Y for europe and that actually seems to have a tighter clustering than the china built cars that's something we can't really explain because um, they are supposedly using the same battery but the Fremont cars again have that sort of like initial dip that seems to sort of early you know early stages of ownership they seem to lose quite a lot from their initial capacity I say quite a lot I mean these things are all relative it's losing maybe 10% over the 50 60,000 miles which is again something we saw in the general battery degradation video and if we take a look at the Model Ys built in 2023, three factories seem to make them. Um, if we compare Berlin and China, you know, we're getting the same result, same batteries, what you expect. If we add in Fremont, there aren't many data points, but again, you can clearly see at the beginning, they start higher, but over time, they seem to drop down to certainly parity with the other batteries and maybe just a touch below over time and this scale is only 30 40 000 miles where most of the data is covers so let's just recap we've not looked at the model s or model x because they're all built in fremont and whenever we talk about where things are built we're talking about where the cars are built not necessarily where the batteries are built and the degradation results we've sort of gone through in more detail before but what we're seeing is when a factory is using the same battery you get very very similar results and to be honest that's what you would expect however what we do see is there are differences between the battery performance uh, in particular the bt42 and the bt43 batteries which are used in the long range and performance cars and even though the bt42 the panasonic battery is uh, slated as having a a higher uh, capacity its actual performance certainly by the time you get to 30 40 thousand miles is no better and arguably slightly worse than the BT 43 LG chem battery I guess the other takeaway is where your car is made in the world does make a difference so if you do watch YouTube videos and see a car in the US and it has a certain performance you can't assume that the same model built in the same year in say Europe will be the same because it's like to have a different battery just because of the factories using different components hope that helps see you next time thank you